These yaks offer a bounty of meat, but are far too powerful and dangerous. She considers this marmot. No, she doesn't. These yaks offer a bounty of meat, but are far too powerful and dangerous. She considers this marmot. No, she doesn't. It is said that when a crane takes flight, it carries along the spirit of a departed creature from this world to the next. New, ca camera new camera assistant. <laughs> Do I have two on me? Um, Feels like yeah, you have two. two tails anyway. You have two monkeys now. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> just trying to get right on your head. <laughs> so, how's the wind going today? <laughs> We're just coming up to um, find the wilder group, the wild group of monkeys, and we haven't really had much snow. But we're just keen to see where they are and what we can see and hope that at least we might get some shots of monkeys and beautiful snow-capped peaks in the background and the dramatic landscape. And this forest and this mountainous area is really quite untouched. It's very, very beautiful. Come here. These are the camouflage nets will cover the onset high, so Rolf can uh, sit inside and the children won't see him. He can set the camera inside to get an amazing shot. That's it! Finally, our most important height is finished. It has probably a radius of 60 centimeters, so to spend days and nights in there won't be very comfortable. But at the end of the day, comfort isn't part of this game. Good news about this day is that I saw the first Chiru calf, which could mean that the calving season finally gets started, which would be amazing. So, fingers crossed. Rain, sun, or hail. We sit and we wait for our beautiful beasts. Okay, it's again half an hour later and now it's snowing. We have rolling mist and a proper thunderstorm. But I'm still convinced that if we wait another half an hour, uh, we will have best conditions for my time lapse. I'll tell you what, you don't have to worry about getting up in the morning here. Yeah? Keep getting slapped in the face by bamboo. At least get slapped five times a day, every morning. I'll tell you what, it's funny, but it's painful. Oh dear. So um, basically, we're setting up a camera trap at this location. Looks pretty good and we found signs of pandas 
like droppings and footprints and uh, we're hoping that you know maybe we can get something here even we can't see the pandas if we are able to capture them in like a sort of you know high quality camera trap that would be great there's a panda um, paw prints just down the valley um, to the left around 300 meters away from my current location and that's really close and uh, he said that the print looks like could be from yesterday could be from this morning and he doesn't want to disturb it by coming up following the print so I think maybe today's today then show it up, up my spine We're at about 4,700 meters. Just climbed up the hill from the campsite we're staying. Don't know if you can see it in the distance. Uh, somewhere about over the river just there. And uh, we're in search of snow leopards. But the freshest tracks went around the corner and I was very tempted to follow them but I thought no if I do that I'll probably bump them out and frighten them away. Yeah. So I took a big circle around to look and sure enough look right in that cave and here's a set of eyes and ears poking out. Oh <laughs> man that's great. And it shows you how confident they are in their camouflage. Wow. Wow. They just know that they are blended in so perfectly. And yeah. That cat was confident to sit there and I walked away you know, gradually peeking back with my binoculars and the cat stayed right there, just tucked down. So. Okay. Wow, look at this. That's a, that's a, that's a big cat. Yeah. This is a little bit, isn't it? So these are our uh, sensors, they're passive infrared. There's a little infrared beam that comes out of here. And hopefully as soon as the leopard walks past it, this will send a signal to the trap and set our cameras recording. That's the theory anyway. Hey movie fans, Vale here with an interesting motion capture fact from 2003's Finding Nemo. For the character Bruce, extensive motion capture was used of actual great white sharks to get the character's shark look. Six different sharks were used, including two from the private collection at Mandalay Bay Casino in Las Vegas. I loved Finding Nemo. What about you? Stay updated on all the latest trailer releases by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Bye!